the Dallas World Aquarium has been hit with its second lawsuit in six months. Amy Carter of Carter Law Group represents the families. In both cases, she says a child sitting on parents' shoulders and hip was attacked by a giant otter at the exhibit. This is supposed to be a day of family joy, and these kids are leaving with permanent scarring, both physically and emotionally. In court documents, pictures show the exhibit with a glass enclosure, standing over five and a half feet tall. Also in those documents are images of the injuries to the two-year-old girl from a 2019 incident. The river otter bit her finger. She lost a finger now. She has a permanent scar on her finger. Amy tells us the first family to file had an 18-month-old who had gashes on his arm and spent two weeks suffering from an infection. The aquarium says the health and safety of guests, staff, and animals is top priority and had no further comment. The first time that a river otter jumped up and injured a child that was being held by their parents, the enclosure should have been changed, or at least there should have been very significant warnings about that issue. Amy says the recently put up warning signs are insignificant. She says they can do so much more to protect people. In Dallas, I'm Joan Panikker.